everybody, my name is Tauska and welcome to Terraria Let's Play Adventure Series. And yeah, I think I'm trying to twist the name a little bit there. But today we are going to play. And today I would like to um, say a few words and um, say goodbye to a friend who is forever in the other world. His name was Sam Holty, and a few days ago he died on Gorge Road. I was never a close friend of Sam and well let's just say I never got to know him until I was in high school and what I learned about this guy was he would overcome a lot of obstacles that are in his way such as the ones where people getting in trouble and when he realizes this he took charge of his life and he's like you, you are my friend, but I'm not the one you say anymore. It's, it's like he was trying to teach others not to be like they are normally. Now, he was an awesome, awesome guy. And a lot of people are going to miss him. And though I never really... Because I didn't really remember who he was, and I found one picture, that's when I started to remember who he was and some of the incredible things he pulled off. During his life, he was amazing. He, he was like one of the best friends you could possibly ever possibly want. And it's like, a guy like that, he overcame a lot of obstacles. I mean, a lot. He went from being a primary school student to being a high school student and... I was there but basically every step of the way and I never even realised that. It's like I forgot everything. And I did. I truly did forget everything. I never even realised that. Oh, we did actually go to the same primary school. I was wondering. I went and I looked and I found out that yes, this was true. That we did go to the same primary school. In high school, however, I didn't really get a picture in his class. So, that was an unfortunate thing that's... Well, it kind of happened. Now, for today, I, I'm just going to make this episode short. So then, I can basically be like... Goodbye to my friend. The person who's probably the reason I am who I am today. Because when I saw him and he was getting manipulated at school... I was that guy that looked at him and thought that I might be able to do something to help him, considering I saw he was being manipulated. But in the end, he didn't need me, because he actually got out of it on his own. He basically saw that he was getting in trouble. I was trying to tell him, don't hang up this crowd, they're going to just get you in trouble. Though he didn't listen to me directly, he ended up being like, yeah, you know what? You're manipulating me, you're making me get in trouble. Y you know, I'll be your friend, but I'm not doing your bidding for you, basically. I don't even know what this is. Weird thing. So, I, I'm gonna miss you, buddy. Even though I don't really know you anymore, but... The only reason I miss you is because you're an awesome guy and a lot of people are going to miss you and that's what I'm going to miss about you because a lot of people are going to lose a very cool friend. And it's only because personally I didn't know you as well as they did. However, I did went through primary school with you and you were a good friend. I mean, you were actually a friend of mine for a while, while I was in school. While I was in primary school... You actually were a friend. Well, sorry, I didn't mean primary school, I meant high school. And the reason being is because in primary school, I never had friends. I never hung out with anyone. But when it came to high school, that's when I started changing a little bit, maturing, and it ended up hanging out with you a little bit. I, I believe we played some games in primary school. The only thing I ever did was play sports in primary school. I mean, I had nothing better to do, did I? I don't really know exactly what I can say, but I know a lot of people are going to miss you, mate, and I, I've, my heart goes out to them. 
though I don't really feel anything. <laughs> well, I, I, I'm a liar, I actually do feel some things, it's just hard for me to determine whether the feeling is mutual or if it's what it is or not. You'll be deeply missed by many of your friends, your best friends more than likely. You'll be missed by your family. You'll be this missed by your brothers, sisters, cousins, and all of them. Even the community you hung out with, which was a sports community that did bike riding and stuff. Now, for now, it's about time I start getting back on with this episode and start trying to move forward myself. I mean, hey. I, I moved forward, but I kept wanting to know what was true, what was false, and what I knew about you, mate. And until tomorrow, we won't see each other for a very long time. But tomorrow isn't even far away. So, well, I'm pretty sure you can weigh, and I can weigh, and we'll meet again. Just like everyone else. So until then, goodbye. And thanks for being with us. <clears throat> and all to all the students in the class that I'm gonna make watch this, you gotta if you're gonna plan on getting a motorbike or any motor vehicle, you gotta learn the road rules because there are some rules these days that you might not even take notice of. I miss some rules that I keep letting slip my mind, and I'm for grateful for every opportunity that I see that I've made a mistake and that I get through without getting in trouble or grateful for the ones that I don't have an accident or anything and that is why I'll say learn the rules and do things correctly on the road I'm gonna say that Sam was actually doing the right thing because I'm pretty sure I could be wrong I don't believe he would have been doing something stupid on the road. I really believe he would have done the right thing and it will be proven once the police have finished their crashing report or whatever they're doing. The reason I believe he would have done the right thing is because in high school when he realised he was getting in trouble a lot, that's when he changed his attitude to what he was doing. So... It's just a lesson for everyone to learn. He was right. Apparently he was right about something, but he didn't listen to himself. He wanted to ride, and that's because he kind of didn't trust his feelings. But Now we all know there are feelings we should really trust. Before his accident... I'm, I'm going to soon stop with this stuff. <laughs> Excuse me. Before his accident, apparently he had another friend. He had a f close friend pass away. And he said to his parents, apparently, that he wasn't going to go for a ride for a couple of weeks. But he ignored that, and he did go for a ride. He ignored his feelings to not go for a ride, and he ended up having an accident. Personally, I do ignore some of my feelings, most of them, but whenever my feelings are there, most of them, the ones I ignore are always right, whilst the ones I don't ignore are not normally right or wrong. Some of them are right, some of them are wrong. Today I made a decision which was a feeling was telling me to go through with it and another thing, a logic said otherwise about a vehicle that I wanted to get. So, I've learnt that my friend has taught me to trust my feelings and my instincts. I think I should do it a little bit more now than ever before. And one of those instincts tells me that I have to just do this. And try to become better. And maybe find that energy that's going to make these videos a lot better than before. So for now, I'm going to see 
what I can do, but I would love to make a video with a friend so then people can get an energetic vibe and enjoy it. So, number 9 episode will come out the same day as this one, and te at the official 10 is gonna come very soon, but this is a part of the official 10, it's just gonna be a shorter version of 10. So, everyone, I'd like to know your opinions of what you'd like to see happen as a tribute to this friend. He loved motorbikes, he loved BMX riding, he loved a lot of things in his life. I don't know everything, all I know is, you know... He was one of the best friends that anyone could ever have. One that would be the most respected friend you could possibly have. He's the kind of guy that would be there for you when you need it the most. He's the kind of guy that, no matter how much of a jerk you were to him, he'll end up coming around and been like, you know, forget about it, man. You, you made a mistake. I mean, hey, lots of the times I consider myself to be a jerk of a friend and lots of people, I mean, literally, lots of people didn't want to be my friend, but this guy, he, he was one of those guys that didn't mind being my friend. So if they did or didn't want to be, he, he was just a friend that want, was, he was just there as a friend. I don't know exactly how to describe him in the sense that he was actually there, because he was. The best way I could describe him as a friend, he was one of those guys who supported letting me join in games when I was bored and I wanted to play a game with people instead of just watching. I wanted to participate in what activities they undertook and what they did. And he was one of those guys that supported it. He was one of those team players that you could play the game with. A lot of the friends that he has now, or did have, they were really good friends to him, they were really good friends to me. But no one really knows me other than him because... Let's just say I did kind of change my name in such a way that... People who were bullies to me won't know me. He was one of those guys that didn't have to change his name, people just got along with him very, very well. So... I, I really hope... That he gets a really good funeral, and I really hope that he goes to a better place and enjoys the next world. Until then, this is episode 10, but not the official, and episode 10 will come very soon. I'll just have to consult with a friend on if we can do it tonight. And everyone at school, in my IT class, you know I'm talking to you. I t I'm telling you probably right now. To watch this video and you probably already finished it or you probably already just started you never know but I, I if you don't believe me go and do some research it'll be in the paper this friend it really happened I want people to know this so they can avoid you know the same fate because I'm pretty sure not everyone wants to meet their end It'd be just terrible. Until next time, guys. My name's Talska. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. The more people like my content, the more I'll post. Thanks for watching, and have a great day or night. Goodbye, everyone. Pleasant dreams to you, too.